Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about sine binary multiplication or two complement multiplication where I'm going to tell you how to multiply two binary numbers which are having sign. So here are a few examples which I have considered to explain in this video. So minus 5 into minus 7. So minus 5 into 7 and 5 into minus 7. So before we go into the multiplication, I want you to know the basics that is sine bit extension. Okay, let's see what is meant by sine bit extension. So here you have minus 5 over here. So how can we write minus 5 in binary? So it is 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, write it in this form. So 2 part 3, so third position and 2 part 2 is 0 and 2 power 1 is 1 and 2 power 0 is 1. So this is how a minus 5 is represented in negative form that's 2's complement form okay 1 0 1 1 so this is a 4 bit this is a 4 bit so if we want to write this exact same number in 8 bits what will you do so what I'm going to do is sine bit extension that means this is the sine bit so I will be extending it as the name suggests sine bit extension so I'll be extending it for how many bits I want I want 8 bit okay so more 4 bits I'll be using this sine bit so that is 1 2 3 and 4 there you go the value is exactly similar the value is minus 5 so if you want to check you can check this is the sine as well as the magnitude form so this is 8 16 32 then after 64 and 128 so minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 so it will be minus 5 exactly so you need not worry about it all you need to do extend the last bit you got so 1 is extended for from 4 to 8 okay this is the sine bit extension now let's go to sine binary multiplication so I'm going to take this example minus 5 into 7. So let's write the minus 5 and 7 in binary form. Minus 5 can be written as 1, 0, 1, 1. And 7 can be written as 0, 1, 1 and 1. Let's multiply them. Okay. So here it is very similar to the binary multiplication. Uh, nothing different. Normal decimal multiplication is also done like this. So let's multiply them. So 1 into 1 1 0 1 you got the value so we have multiplied this one with this all next one we need to multiply with this into 1 0 1 1 so it's in tens place so don't forget this x or a mark so 1 1 0 1 okay next next stop is one more one so we have two x's okay it's 1 1 0 1 I'm going in a systematic way if you follow this it will be having no error okay I hope you follow this one so now we'll multiply with 0 so with 0 we have 3 x okay 0 1 2 3 and 4 there you go our result is done but you do you need not forget that we need to have sine extension over here so what I'm gonna do is that if you multiply 4 bit into 4 bit the result is going to be of 8 bit okay the result is of going to be of 8 bit so if you multiply n bit versus n bit the result is going to be of 2 n bit so here we are multiplying with 4 bit and 4 bit the result is going to be of 8 bit so I'll be considering till 8 bit only okay so the rest of the values I'm going to ignore it okay so now till 8 bits I'm going to extend my values till 8 bits so that is sine bit extension we are going to use here so till now we have 1 2 3 and 4 so more 4 bits 1 2 3 and 4 there you go I have extended the sine bit for the first one similarly we have to extend it for the others so 1 1 1 so for the third one also 1 and 1 over here we have 0 we need to extend to 0 so our sine bit extension has been done so now let's add them up so that we can get our result 
so it's 1 down here it's 1 so 1 plus 1 it's 2 so that means 0 and 1 is being carried over here so now we have three ones one 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 and the result is one and one another one is carried so again one 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 so three again we have one and one carried so again over here we have three so one and one carried over here here we have four one two three and four one so four is one zero 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 so zero will be written over here and one will be written over here okay now let's add them so it's three so it is one okay and one more has been carried over here so now we have one two three four and five so five that means one zero one so first one will be there and rest zero and one so if you continue to do this if you continue to do this that means sign extension and add them you will get one over here that means the sign is being extended so you can ignore all of this we can ignore this for right now for 8 bit is most than sufficient for to get the answer so now let's uh, figure out what's the value of this and check whether minus 5 into 7 is equals to this value so let's find it out so it's 0 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 2 power 6 and 2 power 7 so here in 2's complement form the last bit is having both sign as, as well as magnitude so keep minus for your better understanding so now we have minus 128 okay only last bit will have minus 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 so let's add them up so minus 128 plus 64 is negative of 164 minus 64 minus 64 plus 16 minus 64 plus 16 is 48 okay now we have negative of 48 plus 8 it's 40 and minus 40 plus 5 is minus 35 so minus 5 into 7 is what minus 35 you got the answer correct so I'm gonna deal with one more example here we have normal multiplication but in the next example which is very crucial uh, where uh, there's a little bit change let's go for the example so what's the change over here what's crucial about this multiplication is here we have minus 7 at down in previous case it was 7 so in previous case we had multiplied a positive number with a negative number in this case a negative number if it is down for any case 5 into minus 7 if a negative number is at that bottom uh, to multiply this with 5 then we need to consider this case that we need to complement the last product so we need to complement the last product so I'll say what is meant by complementing the last product so minus 5 represented in binary 2 complement form as 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 so minus 7 how it is represented so minus 8 plus 1 that is minus 7 0 0 in between so this is minus 5 and minus 7 let's multiply in the same manner as we did in the previous case so step by step it's better for us so 1 0 0 1 with 1 so you got 1 0 1 1 next at 0 don't forget just go step by step you have a lot of time it will take you just half second to write it down so one more two crosses for this zeros also one two three and four here is the important point I want you to listen so before you write one one zero one I want you to know this this is a very important part so whenever you have minus value at the bottom of multiplication whenever we have the minus value at the bottom of the multiplication for the last value for the last value it's having a sign as well as magnitude so as a result it's having sign we need to complement the result whatever we multiply with we need to complement it don't forget this one we need to mo one com two complement it so that we can have a better result so what's the multiplication value so it is one zero one one so we need to have two complement of it so first we'll do one complement of it it is 
0, 0, 1, and 0. Now we need to add plus 1 for it to get the 2's complement. So it is 1, 0, 1, and 0. So this is what needs to be written over here, not this one, okay? Understand that this is what it needs to be written over here. So don't forget this. This is a very crucial point of this multiplication. So now let's write the value. So what is it? 0, 1, 0. So 1, 0, 1, and 0. Okay, I hope you have understood that. Don't forget this. This is a very place where people make mistake. Now, once again, we have to do sign extensions. This is a 4 bit of this is a 4 bit. So we will have the result of 8 bit. So I'm going to do 8 bit extension. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. There you go. We have done 8 bit extension and zeros over here and zeros over here and a zero over here. So I have now we need to add them up and our result is done. Don't forget this point. This point is very crucial. If you forget this point, the result is gone. I hope you have understood now. Let's add them 1, 1, 0, 1 plus 1, it's 0 and 1 is being carried over here. Okay. So add this up. 1 plus 1, it's 0, 1, that's 2. Okay. Over here we have 0, 1 over here. And 1 plus 1 plus 1, it's 3. So it is 1 and 1 carry over here. So 1 plus 1, it's 0. We have 1 carry over here. 1 plus 1, it's 0. It is 1 over here. It will be keep on going on like this because this is 1 because we are sign extending it. So we can neglect this part, you know. We can neglect this part where we have a same value. So 0, 0, 0 will be coming on on the MSB side. So still now we can neglect it up to 8 bits and know the value. So let's consider what's the value of 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So what's the value? It is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So let's say 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, and 2 power 5. So 2 power 5 is 32, 2 power 1 is 2, and 2 power 0 is 1. So what's the answer? 35. I hope you have got it correct. Minus 5 to minus 7 is 35. So we have two more examples to do. So we have two more examples to do. Minus 5 into 7 and 5 into minus 7. So 5 into minus 7, don't forget that we have minus 7 in the bottom. So we need to uh, complement, 2 complement the last product. Okay, 2's complement the last value. Don't forget this one. This is the important point for this one. So in binary 5 to 7, you can do it easily, I guess. So I'm giving you work for you to do is 5 into minus 7. So I'll be talking how to do this multiplication in a different form in Booth's algorithm in next video if you like this video. And one more important thing about multiplication. So that's the important thing as you can see on the board. Subscribe, please man. That will help me a lot and you have a benefit of a subscribe that you can access the comments and you will I will give you the result within maximum of 24 hours within two days I'm going to comment you back so that will be a benefit for you and if you are subscribed to my channel and turn on the notification you will learn the new concept very early compared to the other people who are not subscribed I hope this lecture has given you a lecture or topic has given you the value you need and thanks for watching till end please do subscribe it will help me a lot and if you can like this video you must like this video thanks for watching once again